I've missed this song. It's best also CZ. <laughs> look, look. Hello, Karen. I like this game, okay? It scares the shit out of me, and I love it for that. Hi, Maria. I have not missed you. I have not missed you at all. I've missed this music, and I've missed Anatoly and Gregor, but I have not missed Maria. <laughs> I forgot you! <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, if you think I forgot about how, 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 how to pronounce their names. <laughs> uh... Oh man, I, I really did not miss you. Uh, all right, let's see if there's uh, anything loaded. There shouldn't be. Oh, whoa, wait, what? Oh shit! Well, would you look at that? All of my save files are still there. Not gonna lie, I was not expecting my save files to be restored. Well, we're still gonna we're still gonna play it to. Uh, Restart from the beginning for the achievements. And then we should be able to get to the DLC after that. But, alright! For. Oh, right. There we go. Lights are off. Now we're good. Oh no. Not another one. <laughs> alright, more cabbage. The fucking YouTube video is gonna start with me with just like with fucking like three or four fucking cabbage everywhere, and it's, 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 it's anybody who watches on YouTube is gonna be so fucking confused. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but anyways, so let's get this shit started, shall we? Get this fucking party started. So, so, all right, YouTube intro time. Hello, YouTube and Twitch and everybody who's out there in chat right now! We are back with some cooking companions! The DLC has finally come out, and so of course, of course, of course, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back, but not only am I back, I'm ready. I am so ready for Cabbage right now. I'm so fucking ready to take on Cabbage right now. I'm ready, let's fucking go! I'll fight every single one of you chomp ed ass bitches. You can whisper all you want, main menu! I was like, hey, sup, you little YouTubes! But yes, so we are, we're back with Cooking Companions for the Chomp Ed Origins DLC. It's, uh, we're, we're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run through real quick, like, to get the achievements from the base game that I didn't get yet, because there are two of them, and to kind of give chat a chance to be reintroduced to this game again. Uh, I pro I'll probably actually cut this part out of the YouTube video, but once that's done, we'll get into the DLC. Uh, okay. So this, I think this is the dialogue that we haven't gotten yet. So, I don't remember which answer is the one that she wants. I'm gonna need to lurk because I got works to do. Alright, go have a good lurk! Lurk away! Um, I think it's this one. Yep, there we go! There's the, there's, there's, there's the Maria achievement. No, not nearly as bad as Ukraine. My father was a farmer, extremely bright, but extremely stubborn. After they took him, we struggled like other families, but people kept calling him a traitor, even after he was gone. Our village went mad from starvation after the rationing got extreme. Parents sending their children to orphanages instead of letting them starve at home. It was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Eventually, we decided we needed to escape. We stole supplies until we had enough money for the journey. To keep our spirits up, Gregor decided, described it as a vacation! You usually don't face death during a vacation, though. Dots. Thanks for listening. 
You're welcome! And she walks away, saddened by the memories. You hear Gregor calling everyone together for the... Did I not get her actual, like, final heart? I got the achievement, but... I'm just gonna load and see what the other options are. Since we got the, the, um... The thing. Asking how she is. Not very good. It's very sweet of you to ask. Maria's looking at you intently. She gets a little closer to you. Don't get closer to me. Dots. Notice you didn't use any meat when cooking. Usually you have to pick it out of the foods the others make. But you respected that. Thank you. Maria's looking at you with admiration! I need to speak with Gregor for a minute, but thanks again. You're definitely sure Maria will remember that. Why did that... What? Why is that one heart? Yes. Good Good job. Okay. I'm gonna look up exactly when the recipe we're missing appears so that I can we can just get to the DLC already. Oh. Hang on. Never mind. Apparently we got it at some point while we were speeding through and the achievement just didn't pop up because it is in Steam now. So, all right, we have all of our achievements. So we should be able to go back to the main menu. And start the DLC. So now we get into... Let me figure out all this stuff. New game? Yeah! There we go! Chompette's Origins! Alright, you guys ready? Are you guys fucking ready? Are you guys fucking ready? This is where shit gets real. We got, we got our achievements, we're good to go, it's time to start the fucking DLC. Which means I need to figure out voices! Yay! But it's real time now. It's fucking, it's real time. No more skipping. We're finally starting the DLC. The Chompette's Origins! Let's go! Let's move out. Years earlier! Oh, hey, look at that! Selena. Rina, check it out! Oh, hey, achievement unlocked! <laughs> More meat on those bones! Yup! A cabin? All the way out here? What about that psychopath? Eh, we lost him a few kilometers ago. Don't worry! Which psychopath? Oleg. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Hello? Come on, Rina. Sun is setting. Let's take shelter here just for the night. You sure that's a good idea, Selena? Of course. Front door has a few different ways to lock it. Should keep him at bay if he shows up. Hope there's some snacks in here. Oleg. I guess we don't have a choice. We'll head back to Zekopane in the morning. Don't worry about it. It's just for one night. You decide to join up with your friends inside. Oh, are we playing? Who are we playing as? Hey, look at that. Look at them. Gee, I wonder if this one's cabbage. And this one's, I don't know, maybe onion, potato, I'm guessing. Did you lock the door? All set. Could you see him out the window? No, he probably went back to town. Is anyone here? No. Yelled and stomped around. Nothing. Mm. Hey, another achievement! Fork in the road! Man, these achievements are easy. <laughs> I was worried when I saw fucking 80, but, you know, I guess if we're getting one every couple minutes, it won't be that bad. This cabin is abandoned. Let's stay here tonight. What? Relax, it's gonna be freezing outside tonight, so it's either him or us. Let's avoid making a fire. Don't want him to see us in the distance. No fire? There's blankets in the bedroom. We'll be fine, Oleg. This cabin chills me to the bones. We'll need them. Hmm. Whenever Bullock gets nervous, he tells a joke to break the tension. Yep, that's gotta be potato. <laughs> and hey, look! Razael! Where have we heard that name before? 
Actually, fun fact about that, guys. Apparently, apparently, I am one of the only people on YouTube to, like, that actually uploads the, uh, uploaded their playthrough that got the fucking pun ending. The, 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 the cornbread ending. So that's cool. Got one of Raziel's classics for you. What do you call a snowman's kids? Children! Ha! 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 Corny and classic indeed. <laughs> Let's split up and search the cabin. If you can find any food for us to eat tonight, see if you can find any food to eat. <laughs> Simbu. This guy stinks! I'll take the bedroom. Leave the living room to me. Rinas, I'll search the kitchen. No need to help me. You sure? Of course, I know exactly where to look first. I got this Echo Payne Jr. Baker Award, remember? Selena. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Let's move out! <laughs> Tutorial! Help the team by searching the cabin for supplies! Your bonus Selena Oleg Bolek is unbreakable. Focus on exploring the cabin. You only get one choice, so choose wisely. Who do you want to help out first? Oh, shit! I'm gonna start this on page four, and this will be the start of trumpets. This one. This one. No, not load. Not to save game. There we go. These folks look good enough to eat. I know, right? All right, chat, who are we helping out first? Selena, Bolek, or Oleg? Cabbage, onion, or potato? <laughs> All righty, Selena in the kitchen, let's go. Lead by example. Let me help, Selena. Only if you insist. What area do you want to search first? Uh, countertops, I guess. Oh, wow, this mortar and pestle has gotten a lot of use. Yeah, I bet it has. What's that? Mortar and pestle? It's apparently a thing you crush dog food with. <laughs> it's a cooking tool used to grind herbs, plants, and seeds. You haven't seen one of these? No. Let's go over to Oleg's house sometime. His grandpa has one. Sounds good. Uh, any more on the countertops? Because you inspect the hanging herbs above the sink. And what about these herbs? Are they edible? The secret tool we can use at a later time. Ah, I like secret tools. And dog food. <laughs> Don't touch those! Whoa, why not? They're ancient. will probably turn into dust if you touch them. Bullock would probably still eat the dust, though. Rina! Uh, any more on the countertops? Did you check the cupboards next to the dried herbs? No. You notice a meat cleaver sticking out of a butcher block. Can I has that? I can has that! You equipped the meat cleaver. Wait, I'm equipping things? Empty. Did someone rob this cabin? Anything else? Whoa. What's with that meat cleaver, Rena? You like it? Stole it from the butcher block. You're freaking me out. Put that back. Put the meat cleaver back? No. Fine, we'll play nice for now. We'll be psychos later. <laughs> you wind down. Thanks, Rina. I didn't want to scare Oleg later. Rina! <laughs> More on the countertop? Wow, there's a lot of shit. These dishes are disgusting. Right? It looks like insects ate whatever food was left over. Thick dust. These must have been left out for quite some time. Whomever owned this cabin must have been extremely lazy. Yup. More. I think we've checked out everything on the countertops. Time to search something else. Uh, The cauldron and oven. You search inside the cauldron first. Find anything? Just some dust at the... Just disgusting slop at the bottom. This cal cauldron is almost as big and heavy as your coat. Selena! They're very good friends! You're covered for fall and winter now. Saves my family a trip to Zecopane Market. Right? Anything else? You look inside the oven! 
bone fragments. Selena found some bones. Chicken bones? Selena looks at the discovered bones. Too big to be chicken. It's people bones! Not sure. It looks like it came from the same animal, but the sizes are different. Young and old skeletons? Correct! Put these back, though. It's grossing me out. You place the bone fragments back into the oven. Anything else? You notice the deep char near the back of the oven. Like something was smashed up against the wall and then left to burn against it. Was something alive crammed into this oven? Maybe. This oven reminds you of the ones used in Zacopane. Zacopane? Zacopane? I have no idea how to pronounce that. But the brick layering is much more advanced. Maybe it's time to check on Bullock and Oleg. It, no, I gotta make sure. One more look can't hurt you. Look around the base of the cauldron. Ha ha ha! Found something! We found a creepy note. Hi, I saw the fence outside. Kids are needed. Heated? Needed? Please teach me the secret. I'll bring him here on Sunday. You won't have to do a... You won't have to do anything. Please teach me the secret. What secret? The secret to people eating? You take the creepy note with you! Check this out. Did a kid write this? Ah. Either it was a kid or an adult who didn't do well in school. What fence are they talking about? I didn't see any fence outside. The bigger question is what the hell the secret is. Or who was brought here. Right. Anything else? The note you found, so so found sounded pretty disturbing. Maybe it's time to check on both. But anything else? No. Okay. All right. I think we've checked everywhere. You're right. Rats. Uh, there might be one of those, yeah. Did you check under the sink? You look underneath the sink. Nothing. It feels strangely cold underneath. Nothing! All right, let's see what Bullock and Oleg have found. Rina, let's mosey out! Boing! I really don't know how to pronounce that. Hang on, I gotta Google it, like, word this one. Otherwise, I'm gonna butcher the living hell out of it. Oh, it's a donut! It's like actually a jelly-filled donut. Uh, but how the fuck do you pronounce it? Ponch key? Okay, apparently it's pronounced ponch key. According to the Google machine. <laughs> Too much ponch key, Rena? You napping? Oh shit. She cute as fuck. Look at that adorable face. No, just staring at the clouds. Oh yeah? The drowning of Marzana is in a few minutes. Let's burn that witch and throw her in the river. Wait, what? What? I heard you're the one tasked with the burning. I'm assuming this is a play. You know how to shoot an arrow that's on fire, Selena? Duh! You can bring the green branch to the village this year, Rena. I got that witch. What the fuck? Another achievement unlocked! Helping hand! Alright, time to get up and get your head out of the clouds. Selena takes you down to the river. Downstream is the witch Marzana, made of straw and sticks. Oh, wait, 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 Hang on, guys, I think I read about something like this. I think I just actually happened to read about, about the, 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 the thing that it's talking about. There's a thing in... Somewhere in Europe, I, I guess it would be Poland. I, I don't actually remember. But, like, the last harvest of the season, they do, like, this, uh, there was, like, a tradition where you take uh, a straw doll and the last harvest of wheat and, like, fuck it up. Or something. I wonder if that's what this is talking about. I follow a Twitter account that's, like, old European traditions and shit, because, like, book research. So, it just kind of happened to come across my speed at one point. I don't know if this is actually the thing that it's talking about, but... Maybe. 
Her wooden, her wooden raft won't catch fire easily. I have to aim for the body. Selena fires three flaming arrows at Marzana's raft, but nothing connects. When you finally catch up to it, the effigy has fallen down into the water. Help me fish this out, Rena. The weight is surprisingly light. I thought it was bad to touch the effigy after try trying to drown it. That's just an old superstition. Need to burn, then drown to complete the ritual. Gross. Marzana, Marzana, swim across the seas. Let all the flowers bloom and make the fields turn green. Whoa, what the hell are you, what the hell are you two doing? Helping Marzana back on her feet, Oleg. She's like, come help us get her back to the others. I'm not touching that! Oleg. Thankfully, none of the adults caught you messing with the effigy. But while Oleg was yelling at you, it felt like you were being watched. Across the river, you see a strange man pretending to skip stones. His greasy hair shines in the sunlight. Some of the oils are smeared on his vest. He opens his mouth in an awkward smile, his teeth jagged and uneven. Walking away clumsily, he heads in the opposite direction of the festival. Right into the forest. You head over to meet back up with Mo Bullock and Oleg. Oh, hey, hi, guys. Back to, back to, the, back to the, 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 the current time, yes? Okay, team, find anything? Just some old toys in a drawer. Really old toys. Bullock, I... I found his to toy boat under the couch. Oh. 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 Let me see that. Grandma made this boat for him. Shipwrecked. Razael was here. Razael. The one and only. Could he still be alive here? Okay, so... For those of you who didn't didn't see the first one, we uh towards the end, and I think it was actually the way you got the pun ending, the the the, the cornbread ending, was you had to find the boat that had that you had to find Razael's boat under the couch, and I think that was that was, I think I'm pretty sure that was part of finding that ending was finding Razael's boat under the couch. Seeing him again would bring Grandma back. Bra Back from the brink. We have to find him. Agreed. Krill, we need to search this cabin top to bottom. Let's find Razael and bring him back to Zakopane. You got it, Selena. Bullock, Oleg, come with me. Let's look out around outside. Rena, look around the cabin and try to find any clues to where Razael is. Dots. That psychopath could still be outside in the woods. If you hear any of us yell or scream, find us. Okay? Radio. Thanks. We'll be listening for you as well. Wait, why are the three of you going off and leaving me by myself at the house? I'll be fine. Crew, let's move out! Selena, Bullock, and Oleg leave you to search the cabin. That was a sound. I don't like this door. I don't like this door. Oh, whoa, hey. Who's there? Nothing. It sounded like it was coming from the kitchen. You walk over to investigate. As long as it gets me away from that goddamn door. Hello? Don't zoom in creepily. I don't like when this game zooms in. Uh... I... Don't know that language either, but I just got another achievement. What language is that? I have no idea, uh, but if uh, anybody out there in chat knows that one, uh, let me know. Or on YouTube, I guess. Whoever can read whatever language that is, l l let me know. Por todo o oceano? 
Interesting. I have no idea what you're saying, but I'm sure it's very creepy, whatever it is. Yeah, exactly. I don't understand what you're saying. Don't laugh at me. There's a face under the sink. I don't know if you guys can see that. But there's a face under the sink. You know, sometimes I think about redoing my, like, setup for games. Just so, like, the game screen can be bigger. Instead of having, like, the o all the overlay stuff, just have, like, game. Like, just game and chat. What do you guys think? Would you guys rather, like, the game be g bigger or have, like, the, the normal overlay? Because I've been thinking about this a lot, especially since I also upload to YouTube. So, like, you know? You yeah, know. Anyways, there's a face in the sink. Oh, there's like an entire tiny skeleton there. Hang on, guys. You gotta, you gotta, I gotta, you gotta, hang on. We're gonna, we're gonna zoom in a little bit there so you guys can see it. Uh. You guys see that shit? Y'all see that shit right there? There's a fucking, like, skeleton and ribcage under... <laughs> That's... Look, that was OBS! <laughs> OBS did that! I can't read this dialogue either way since, like, my resolution is bad. Well, yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> Look, OBS zoomed it in. Or out. But anyways. Do you see the face? There's, like, a head. There's, like, a head right here. And then a rib cage. Right there. Creepy! creepy a drawing is pushed out of the cabinet more words I wonder who this is I mean obviously it's like another victim oh hey hi uh bars and a door looks like some someone used a piece of coal to draw this coal are these Bars of a cage? Staring at a door. I wonder if it's that cage in the bedroom. I know why the caged bird sings. Uh-huh. Yup, it's the cage in the bedroom. You take the cage drawing with you. More words. Heard of barn doors, but bars, that's just what it gets. <laughs> Uh, ba 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 words. And it's gone. And we're zooming back out. Okay. Well. Creep. Talina? Oleg? Bolek? No reply. Oh, hey, hi, how's it going, guys? Rina! We saw something weird down the hill. Looked like an old fence with bones all over the ground. It could have been animal skulls, but couldn't tell from that distance. Heard some weird whispering before we got back to the front door. Find anything? Uh, yeah, a creepy skull thing under the sink that gave me a drawing of a cage. You wouldn't believe me if I told- I mean, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Mm-hmm. Strange whispers coming out from under the sink. Whispers? Was it a ghost? Probably. I'm not sure. I couldn't understand any of the words. Hmm. Ghost, uh... Polik attempts to lighten the mood a little bit. Got another of Razael's jokes for ya! <laughs> what do ghosts like pouring over their food? Any guesses? Any guesses, everyone? Chat? 
You got guesses? Put in your answers now. Bum, 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 bum. I'll like, give up. Gravy! creaking of the cabin. No such thing as ghosts. It seemed pretty real. Put him in the cupboard with the shaft. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be in a cupboard eventually. Well, if you see it again, let me know. That fence outside was absolutely terrifying. We can't let our guard down here. Y yeah. Can, can we not split up anymore? I'm scared of getting separated now. Of course, Oleg. We're a team, and teams stick together through thick and thin. Rain or shine. Feast and famine. You're right. Hang on. I just realized, and nobody has corrected me on this yet, I keep... Saying that fucking, <clears throat> uh, what's his face is potato? What's his face is not fucking potato. Yeah, okay. None of y'all corrected me on <laughs> this, but I just fucking realized I keep calling him potato. It's not fucking potato. It's fucking bread. It's just fucking bread. That's who it was. Potato was the other fucking serial killer. Yeah. P bread, cabbage, and onion. Yeah. And raspberry. I'm assuming we're playing as raspberry, which is fitting because raspberry scared me the most. <laughs> but potato, or to potato was not one of the original chompettes. They weren't part of the original group. It's bread. I just want don't want to lose any of you, like Razael. But here we are. That won't happen when we're together, Oleg. Bullock, you're a night owl. Can you stay guard while we sleep? Of course. Thanks, Bullock. Oleg and I will take the bedroom. You okay with the living room? Yeah. Thank you. Bullock, wake us up if you see or hear anything. You got it. Oleg and Selina head to the bedroom, opening the door fully behind them. You lay down on the couch and quickly fell asleep. Jump scares? I'm fucking waiting for them. You close your eyes but cannot stop thinking about the butcher of Zakopane. His third victim probably had it the worst. Stabbed in the stomach like the other two. But this one was different. The body was missing both ears, so investigators concluded it was a copycat to a series of grisly murders from years ago. What kind of person would take someone's ears? A psychopath? The victim's family and neighbors searched the murder scene top to bottom in the alleyway outside. All they could find was a broken window that the butcher used to gain entry. It was a mystery that nobody in Zakopane could solve. Grizzly murders, like they dressed up as a bear? Yeah, exactly. Selena, Oleg, Bol and Bolek, and you teamed up to find the killer. You're like, what, six? The fuck? That means that the guy they're running from is Potato? Oh, you're probably right. Selena was naturally the leader, plotting out vantage points on dusty maps her grandfather had. Bullock brought snacks and what he called emergency rations, which was usually crusty bread from his pocket. Oleg was able to investigate tips from his grandmother and former detect a former detective, but only after telling her it was to find Razael. 
Your investigations lasted more than a year, often getting to crime scenes quicker than town investigators. Dots. You have a strange dream. You found another body early. So the early so early the blood is still leaving the body. The greasy haired man makes eye contact with you, wiping the knife on his vest. You look for a way to escape, but you're trapped in the alley. He slowly walks towards you, forcing a laugh that comes out in unnatural, staggered segments. Ha! 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 As he gets closer, you notice his pupils are absolutely enormous. As he brings the knife up, his face peels apart by the lips, screeching in pain and agony. You wake. In a cold sweat. Don't look away. <laughs> That's what you get for looking away. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <sighs> Alright. It was the tension that got me, I swear. <clears throat> Wake up, everyone. Well, like, it's like 3 a.m. I heard something outside. Was it one of the crows? They never shut up. It's him. Huh? Selena? It's him. What's the plan? Selena makes the group's, group's secret hand signal. Only whispering is allowed now. Oleg, Oleg, eyes on the doors and window. If he makes it inside, run out the front door and out or downstairs. Downstairs? What if there's less room down there? Do we need to manipulate the lights down there? Find the light bulb pulley, and when he gets close, to, close, turn the lights out. He's got that knife, so run for the front door when there's an opening. What if there isn't a working light down there? Our eyes can see better in the dark than him. How do you know that? We can run circles around him while he's blind down there. He doesn't stand a chance. Don't count your chickens before they hatch, Oleg. Well, like, you can outrun him. Of course. Rina, Rina, do you see anything out the window? Mm, nope, no potatoes. The rain hasn't started yet, but you can see the storm clouds in the distance. Maybe it'll get too muddy for him, unless he's coming through the windows. The window's glass is the window glass is thick. If he tried to break it, everyone would hear it. Whomever built this cabin definitely was here for the long haul. Yeah, you have no fucking idea. See anything, Rena? Nothing. Well, keep and watch. I found this in the bedroom. Here. Um. I. Uh. Okay. So, so. Uh, what a great drawing. Good job. What the hell is this? Did Raziel make this? It had to have been him. When we found the body stuffed into the barrel, that creep saw us and ran. I'm sorry, what? What What was that? Body? Barrel? Huh? Who would do something like that? A monster. That's right, Rena. That was the last time we saw him. What's that noise? Uh, um, did that, whatever that is. 
Get to the staircase, now! As you run to the staircase, you see him standing by the front door. He wipes his eyes with a sleeve, completely drenched from head to foot. He attempts a smile, but it looks completely out of character. You slow down your breathing, making it to the staircase safely. Oh good! Yay! The staircase! My favorite place! Uh, my favorite place in this game! The staircase! Oh boy, I love it here! Selena takes out the basement key, locking the door behind you. There, that should slow him down. Rina, can you lead? Of course, Selena. Wow, he's determined. Alright, we'll be right behind you. You begin your descent. I hate descending. <laughs> Graveyard Games! Ah, uh, that's a good name for an achievement. Alright, let's let's play Ghost in the Graveyard tonight. It's too dark out! What if the adults catch us? We're faster than them. Rina, you game to be the ghost? Why me? Because you're because your eyes can see in the dark the best. The perfect ghost. Selena. <laughs> sure, I'll go hide first. Hey, Oleg? Y yeah? You were slower than Bolek with a stomach full of ha full of herring last time. Pick up the pace. Eh. Trust me, won't happen again. <laughs> Nobody trusts you, Oleg. Everybody laughs. <laughs> so funny. You hide behind some equipment in the sawmill. It takes the group two hours to find you. By the time Selena yells ghost in the graveyard, you've already tagged Bolek and Oleg. Ah! Ugh. You're too fast. Nobody sneaks up on me. Raspberry. Nobody. Rina, what's going on? Uh, nothing. Just remembered something. Bullock and Oleg went ahead. There's no time for this. We need to go. You snap out of it and begin your descent. You must be searching for the key. What an idiot. That sounded like something broke. You must be furious to be causing this much damage. Oleg, you find a light switch down there? Y yeah. Get in position. We'll be right down. The locked door is keeping him busy. That door's pretty old, though. Did you see the holes in it? He's coming down! Run! Your eyes strain to see further down the staircase. You can't hear him. Ja? Rina? We have someone special to introduce you to. The one and only Razael. Don't be shy, Razael. Rina won't bite. What? Why? H Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Rena. I. It's okay. Your cousin is great, Bolek. <laughs> Just wait, everyone. Give him a little time. He has the world's best puns. He memorized every single one. Grandma told him. Grandma bought me this book. I don't- I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have not quite figured out voices yet. Because I don't remember the voices I gave them the first time around. Any always. Rezael, this is 500 pages long! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone left with Rezael, enjoying a nice meal together with Bull X family. Rezael tells countless puns! Bullock howls with laughter, and the adults shake their heads in agony. Yeah. <laughs> His joy is infectious, making Zakopane a dry better city for everyone. Except one. Rina, you're slowing down again. Selena. Rezael. What about him? I... I keep remembering him. I see. I... He... Crew... Let's just keep going. You continue downward. Ooh. New place. Very new place. What the hell is this? Fuck if I know. Murder corner, I guess? That's a lot of blood splatters, so I guess this is like the main murder corner. What? The light isn't working. 
No time to find a weapon here. Let's keep going down. I can see a light further down the staircase. Your shoes stick to the floor at the bottom. With blood! You can barely make out the light to the door on the right. East? There's three other doors. North, south, and west. Get a stabby gun? I love stabby guns! Selena tries the door to the north first. Locked. This door is- this room is tiny. How are we gonna get around him? Urgh. Don't be scared. You need to defend yourself with a stabby gun? I don't have a stabby gun! Damn, I shouldn't have put that knife down! Fuck! Let's try the doors and see if we can lock it from the out inside. Which way, Rena? Uh... Alright, chat. <clears throat> West, east, or south? Which way are we going? South? Alright. South by southwest. Uh, I guess we're going south. Locked. The door handle feels oddly warm. Uh, okay, west or east? I'm trying to remember which direction you had to go in the base game. I think it was west. But I'm not 100% sure. West is best, but east is a beast. That doesn't help me. We're going east. You, Selena, Oleg, and Bullock throw open the door, but turning around to see him. Oh, shit! L wait. Oh, hey! Cornered. Leave us alone! You left the knives upstairs. God damn it, I knew we shouldn't have put that down. <sighs> Mr. Piccolo? No. It's four against one. Leave with your life. <laughs> Say hi to Raziel for me. <laughs> Dead. Oh shit! Run! Bam, bam, bam. Fucking dead. Hey, look! There it is! With potato! <laughs> e Dots. Why? You shut the drawer. <laughs> ah! You why? C -c cabbage Onion! Onion! Bread! Potato. They're being held back by their human emotions. We'll need a few months more at the very least. I'm in no rush. Okay, potatoes are already here. Good to know. Dots. Let us leave. Now. You shut the drawer. Dots. I'd like to explore the cabin. See where those whispers are coming from. Can I leave the drawer? Yep. Mm hmm. Oh, look, guys, we're back to nodding! That's the favorite thing to do in Cooking Companions. We love to nod. <laughs> Thank you. Want to come with, Raspberry? Dots. I'm going nowhere with you. <laughs> poor, poor Raspberry. Yeah. Welcome! We've done a few annual Chompette comedy competitions since last time. Wanna be the judge this year? Ignore them. I found some fast, some fascinating stuff by using the mouse holes. I need you to explain what the hell this is. Um, you know, spooks. It's just, it's just some spooks. Very nice, beautiful drawings. Wonderful. You are you fattening him up? Or were you scaring the hell out of him while you hesitated? You take the basement drawing with you. I will never forgive you for this. Now you're asymmetrical? Well, you can fix that. <laughs> you shut the drawer! It's time! Chompets, sound off! Never fear, Onion is here! 
Like my cousin Cornbread says, I'll rise to the occasion. Yay! Always marry Raspberry! Dots. Potato. P potato You have nothing to give me now. Leave me alone. This is the only way to escape, Potato. We need to leave at the same time. I'm not leaving the cabin. Potato, please. Potato, we want to see you r No. Cabbage tries whispering, but you can clearly hear every word. They can release us. Just play along and maybe they'll pity us. Yeah. I'm not working with them. But... Right now, I pity them. Just an old, disgusting, foul-smelling... That's enough. Potato's words cause a regression to stir inside you. A regression? Keeping these intruders around might be entertaining for now. You slide the drawer closed, giving them time to stew with their thoughts. Stew, chompettes! Stew, you vegetables! <laughs> Peeled potato face dream. Say what? Karen intro artwork duck art duck. That was duck? Karen melting video? Wait, what? 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 A what? Easter eggs! Bow, 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 bow. I, th just for the record, this is probably definitely not over. There may be credits, but if there's one thing that I have learned from playing the base game is that credits mean fucking nothing! <laughs> Special thanks to all these people! And all of these people! Everyone that made Kicking Companions TikTok! I didn't make TikToks. Manly Badass Hero! That's a person I watch! And you! Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> but we've got more shit to discover, so let's fucking go. But also, good job, dear dream. You have a strange nightmare. What? 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 Spooky! Wake up! Undying rage. I said, wake up. Yes, potato. Yes, potato man. What? The others are causing you to become weak. I don't like how close you are to the screen. So if you could not, that'd be great. We need you to get back. We need to get you back to normal. Less talking, less hesitation. Especially, especially if someone is trying to become stronger than you. Oh gee, I wonder who that could be. That used to make you upset, right? I'm keeping my eye on you. Permanent nightmare. Thank you, potato. Fuck off. You asked for how long? At this rate? <laughs> Never. You cough profusely. <coughs> <coughs> Covering potato in a fine mist. You're beyond disgusting. So then, are you ready to fight back against the nightmares? Punish the spirits that have made your life a living hell? Oh, yes, no, absolutely, but first I'm gonna save. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Let us give them no quarter. Close your eyes again, and let's begin to traverse the abyss. I'm not closing my eyes, I don't trust you. You relax your muscles. Getting ready for what's next. Oh, yes, let's go. Welcome to Nightmare Mode! If you survive, you will gain some additional insight into the world of cooking companions, as well as locking a new unlocking new game plus and a Chompettes only event. Is it another comedy hour? This mode is mostly just a joke, so don't take it seriously. From the main menu, if you select new game, you can immediately jump to this mode and other ones. If you make it to the end, you'll unlock the Chompettes cabin courses, a Chompette only event 
free of humans. For the true cooking companion's experience, this should be mode well, should be played in pitch black room with headphones. Well, I have the headphones part, but I can't really do the pitch black because then my fucking face tracking would not work. If you still need to max out your relationships, don't worry, you'll get the opportunity to do a new game plus. You should really make a manual save right now, don't hesitate. Boop. Thank you for getting this far. Your bravery is commendable and will be rewarded. Thanks for playing. Oh, almost forgot. Jump scare? Nightmare mode, activate! You wake up in the bathroom again! Oh boy, the bathroom! My second favorite place in this fucking game! What the fuck was that? Hi, white face! Do you see how dark it is? Yep, I sure do! Man! Do you guys remember this? Look at me. Are you scared? Not really. No. I am scared. You wake in a cold sweat. Oh, hey, hi, uh, hi, Maria. 